A perjurer's victim is said to vanish soon after a perjurer has killed him. No body, no blood, no trace. Just gone. Have you heard of this, Eve? I've heard similar stories, yes. Someone called Perry's police department yesterday claiming they found a body in the middle of the park. Now, once the police came to investigate, there was nothing there. The body was nowhere to be seen. And do you suspect it's a perjurer's doing? Dead bodies don't just up and walk away, Eve. Also, the body they found at the scene? Male. Purple. Red clothing. Uh, you don't suppose? I've tried calling his cell for hours. He goes straight to voicemail. His friends don't know where he is. There's still a few more people I have to call, but... It looks like they got him. That's horrible. He didn't deserve that. I know. We'll get the perjurer behind this, Eve. And it shouldn't be that hard to narrow down the killer. I'll get right on that. When we find this perjurer, however, please remember that they are human just like us. Don't do anything that I would frown upon. Human? I don't think anyone worthy of being called human would have killed someone like Ann Keys. We've been walking for hours now. Are we even close to that stupid village yet? It's Miriam. The village of Miria. Not that hard of a name. Is there a good reason why you must complain every single freaking step of the way? Maybe it's because a certain someone, I'm not naming names here, but I think you know who I'm talking about. You know, she has this certain voice that's just so... nagging. What? You think I am nagging? You're the one who won't stop yammering and complaining! The only reason I've opened my mouth this entire trip was to shut yours! All you're managing to do is make this trip more annoying for everyone else! Please, don't drag us into this. Ugh. Anyone else notice that she talks nearly twice as much as I do? And they're not listening. I have an idea. Didn't Eli just ask you not to drag him into this discussion? What's with you these days? You're certainly not the pizzicato I once knew! Chaska, one day I'm seriously going to... I have an idea, guys. What? what? Well, I just thought we could, like, take a short break over there in the shade. We could all use the break, you know. Sounds like a plan. Alice, are you alright with that? Um, yeah. <sighs> Alice? Ankies! Didn't expect to see me again, did you? How are you here, Ankies? <laughs> hey! That's no way to treat your fiancé. Or, at least your ex-fiancé. This isn't right. You're not real. No. This is wrong. You're not... You can't be real. Not real? First you tell me that our love isn't real. And now you want to say that I'm not real? Is there anything you won't say? As always, it's a pleasure to see you again. Ankies, what do you want from me? We both know apologies will never cut it. To put an end to you and your brother. You two are perjurers. And I won't allow you two to do to anyone what you did to me. You can't do that, Ankies. You're dead. You think this is all in your mind, don't you? Well, I have news for you, love. That couldn't be any further from the truth. Alice! Huh? Had your brother worried there for a sec. You cool? Uh, yeah. Sorry, everyone. Hello? Hey, Alice. It's uh, me, Fubre. Oh, hi. What can I do for you, Fubre? Fubre? Have you seen Ankeys lately? I haven't been able to get a hold of him for a while. Uh, you haven't been able to get a hold of him? How long has it been since you last spoke to him? Hmm, hard to say. I think it would be best if I told you in person. Uh, where are you at? I'll meet you there. Eli. Hey, Fubre. This is Eli. Is there some sort of emergency over there that required you to take the phone, Eli? 
True Ray, the detective that helped label thousands of perjurers and inevitably send them to their deaths. He claimed to be calling Alice out of concern for Ankeys, but... Crap! Alice is a suspect! It's just that my sister and I have been through some stress as of late, and any bad news he may have isn't bound to do anything good for his spirits. I hope you understand. Oh? She seemed rather composed before you ripped the phone away from her ear. I don't suppose you'd like to share with me what bothers your sister, so... Private matters. Sorry. Did you say Pooh Bear was on the phone? I want to speak to him real quick. Let me see the phone, please. Hmm. All right, I can do that. Fubre, someone wants to speak to you. Hi, Fubre. Anali here. Ah, Anali. Good to hear from you, kid. Any news for me? Nothing to report. No one has died around Eli in all the time I've been with him. Son, Son of a... What could have could possibly, possibly made me think that allowing a completely random tag-along was a good idea? idea. Well, this time, we've been watched. If I had killed someone, it would have been all over. How careless of me. All right, will do. Talk to you later, Fubre. That conversation didn't sound particularly pleasant. So, Eli, even your suspect? I would have never guessed. And after all that grief you gave me over my quarantines. Yeah, I never knew you were suspected of being a perjurer. <laughs> Fubre is a very suspicious man. I imagine he suspects his own mother, given the right circumstantial evidence. So a detective would send a little girl to tell someone just because he didn't like him? <laughs> and I thought I had crappy luck with people. Gotta admit, never would have crossed my mind a little girl like Emily would be a spy for a detective. But here she is. Um, yeah... I'm a little baffled as to why he would send a little girl in the first place, and never mind as a spy. All things considered, it's not surprising at all. If you want to catch a perjurer, especially now, I'm a pretty sweet method of catching one if I do say so myself. Just great. If Anali is helping Fubre out, then it's only a matter of time before he finds his way here. Sadly. Alice isn't a perjurer who's used to dealing with people like Fubre. We'll get caught in no time. What is the best course of action here? Suspicious as he is of me already, gaining his trust seems unlikely. Wait a minute! What happened to the Nali saw Alice with Ankeys while we were in Pereira? No good way of explaining ourselves out of that one. Wait. These people don't really mean anything to us. The only reason we're traveling with them is to gain their trust, in case we ended up needing their lives. <laughs> of course! Circumstantial evidence. Chaska, Pizzicato, even Anali could look suspicious in the right scenario. <laughs> I play my cards right. I may just have a way to save Alice and I, and get rid of Fubre. And if I must, everyone else.